even some clouds in the sky, you could make your sky a different texture too. Um, so now I'll be taking my textured pieces, placing them under my white paper, and I'm gonna use um, different varieties of greens and browns, you know, because it, this will be a landscape that like in the spring or summer. Now that's not working very well with marker. I thought it did when I did a test, but maybe I'll opt for covering that up. With. Now I'm starting to be able to see some of the pattern of the lace behind the page. Yeah, that's better. So I'll continue in this whole and fill up this whole section with this pattern. And once you have your background patterns, and you can certainly mix colors here too. Maybe I'll just try and cover that up a little bit. My mistake. Um, so mixing colors, a variety of patterns, and like here I went back and I actually did outline the sections with a darker marker. Um, now I'm not sure I'm going to do that on this page here. We'll see. So now I want to find a different texture that I like for my next section. And again, I'm going with oil pastel because I don't have crayons, but crayons work just as well in this situation. So you get the idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going and filling up each and one of these sections with a different texture. Now, if you just wanted to draw in a pattern um, instead of doing a rubbing, you can most certainly do that too. Um, and after you have filled in all these sections and filled in your sky with different interesting textures, um, I went back in and I just drew, I actually, I cut out these little shapes out of some construction paper and put trunks and branches on them as for trees. Then I put a few more little additional details and I think I will go back and do that as well down here, maybe with some more rows of trees um, or some additional texture just to fill in because I don't like how this area down here is too white still. So I think I will go in and use a light oil pastel and try to fill in maybe over a different texture. I'll fill this in so that I don't see so much white on my page. But anyways, I hope you get a chance to check out the work uh, of the landscape works of Grant Wood. And I hope you have fun making um, your own textured landscape painting. Have fun. We'll see you next time.